So Amy Barrett will be treated respectfully, I hope. We're following the norms of the committee in terms of opportunity to question her. I want to compliment President Trump for sending over this fine woman. I hope she's not treated like Kavanaugh. Yes, she's religious. Yes, she's a devout Catholic. Yes, she has seven children. Uh, and all of that to me doesn't matter. What matters will she apply the law to the facts. And I'm looking forward to it. And one of my legacies as a United States Senator is that I've tried to be fair not only to Democrats when they appoint judges, but I've been a leader on getting conservative judges on the Supreme Court, and the best is yet to come in Amy Barrett. Thank you, sir. Mr. Harrison. You know, sometimes listening to Senator Graham is like, it reminds me of playing Monopoly with my son. You change the rules, every, he changes the rules every time he gets. You know, Senator, you said, use my words against me. And you said it after the Kavanaugh meetings, not before the Kavanaugh hearings, after the Kavanaugh hearings. And your words, your promise was that no uh, judicial nominee should be uh, considered or approved or what have you in the last year of an election. And you even named President Trump when you said it. And so this is my thing. You know, my grandfather always taught me, he said, Jamie, a man is only as good as his word. Well, Senator, how good is your word when you made a promise to the American people? And even more, you made a promise to the folks in South Carolina that you wouldn't be doing what you're doing right now. And, and that's the problem that I have. The greatest, uh, I think the greatest heresy that you could do as a public servant is to betray the trust of the people that you, are, uh, you took an oath to serve. And that's what you have done. Now, just be a man of it and stand up and say, you know what, I changed my mind. I'm going to do something else. But don't go back and blame it on somebody else for something, a flip-flop that you're making yourself. So, if, if I may, I said in August, if an opening comes about, uh, we'll see what the market will bear. Uh, Ms. Barrett's going to get confirmed because the president has the constitutional authority to do it. And here's what I can say about judges. When President Obama was president, I honored the fact that he won the election, and I voted for two people I wouldn't have chosen. And I've watched the Democratic Party try to destroy one conservative judge after another. Mr. Harrison encouraged the filibuster of Judge Gorsuch, the first partisan filibuster in the history of the United States Senate. He cheered on the destruction of Brett Kavanaugh. All I can say is that Amy Barrett is highly qualified. I'm the chairman of the Judiciary Committee. The president has every right to do this. And if you're counting on Mr. Harrison to ever vote for a conservative judge, you're making a mistake of high proportion. You can count on me Thank you, for sir. conservative judges. Thank you very much. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.